Well, I'm down here on the Kingston Hanley Spur tonight, and I thought I would test my coordination by seeing if I could operate uh, CP wave rates in town and video at the same time. This could be challenging. I'm not very coordinated, but here we go. First, we'll go into the uh, woolen mill, and we gotta pick up an empty or a load there, and spot an empty. For those of you who have only seen still pictures of the Henley Spur, you will not have seen how it really operates, including. My general impatience and not wanting to wait for the brakeman to walk back, open the knuckle, stuff like that. We're just gonna, time is money here. So we're just gonna put the X2F couplers through their paces. And we're lifting the load. Going into a little secret uh, passage under the bridge there, the River Street Bridge, which is not prototypical, but came with an extra track that I added and so it allows me to do a bit of a switch back here as we go back through onto the CP siding and there's the empty we need to spot so we'll just pick it up right quickly and off we go back to the wool mill actually before I do that I'll spot these two on the main, uh, on the lead, and we gotta grab a car out of McPherson, which is over there in the corner, Western Maryland Hopper. So we'll just switch these two into the lead here and go and get that one. And we'll just keep filming until the battery runs out for now on the old iPhone. Is that the only one that we need? And of course, it's the last one on the train. So I'll just bring it around here. And I don't think we'll have room somehow to get it in there. So I'll just stash it here, cut it off, pull the rest of the train ahead using CP8552. Not ever having been a switcher on the Kingston Hanley Spur, uh, I believe it was manufactured here, but uh, it's one of my more commonly used CP switchers. I also have a couple of S3s at sea duty. Okay, we'll cut that off and let's go get that uh, gondola car. Or, sorry, hopper car. I don't cycle my loads, so even though I brought in a load of coal, the uh, you'll see that. Come on there, the coal is still in the car, but that's okay. And then we'll go in there, follow it down the spur to C.E. McPherson, which was a uh, manufacturer on Rideau Street in Kingston, and we'll just tie on that. Take it on over there. There's the rest of our train. Eventually, we will we'll be going over here to England and Kitty and Dredge and Dock to do some switching there. But for now, let's get that gone I've been talking about before it's long gone. And, whoops, a little too slow there. Probably could have done it with two hands, but not with one. Let's try that again. Time is money. Let's try that again. We'll come in here on the siding, run around the track, and grab that gone. And it doesn't want to behave. So, speaking of kicking the knuckle open, we'll just give it a little, oh, sure. Of course, it would never do this the rest of the time, just while the video 
this rolling. I'll just censor that out a little bit. Okay, we're good to go. And we're almost ready to go back in there. Um, and here we go. Okay, why well, you give me uh, trouble here? Oh, so you have a little dead spot there. Hmm. I'll just wiggle things until it gets going and we'll have a look at that. Looks like probably a loose track joiner there maybe. Okay. And they can unload that steel for their manufacturing process. And we are out of there. Now we'll go down and switch the uh, Canadian dredge and dock and Anglin lumber next. But first, actually, before we do that, we'll stick this on here and we'll come back for those woolen mill cars in a minute. They're probably just fine sitting there. Okay, to Anglin's we go. So this would be down along Wellington Street in Kingston. And just passing under the main line, which crosses the CN, the CP lead, crosses the CN under the River Street Bridge. And we'll go in with the Rapido Trains Inc. Angus van to lift a lumber car, lumber empty and a uh, empty tank car and that van did not want to cooperate on the curvature so we'll just give that a bit of a quick fix hello family and we're going to just push that into the block and make sure it's connected properly which it now is Sharp curve. And if he wants to cooperate on that curve, but we'll make it cooperate by golly. Oh yeah, we got them all. So we'll stick all this into a little backtrack here and spot our cars where we need to. 